Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing yet another movie review. This movie is a horror film from the USA, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Frank Sabatella, and this film is called The Shed. So The Shed is about the unluckiest teenager you will ever meet. His father committed suicide, his mother died of cancer, and so he's left in the care of his very angry grandfather, who puts him down at every opportunity. So his home life is very depressing, and it's not, so, uh, it's not much better in school because he's been bullied by the high school bullies. And this guy, the main character, wants to win the affections of his crush but he can't really do that it's very difficult because every given opportunity the bullies are making him look bad in front of her so his frustration is starting to boil over and unfortunately his best friend is the subject of these bullies as well so they try to step up to these bullies but it just doesn't work and so they just they they wish harm upon these bullies but they just don't know how they're going to fight back but then one day that all changes when the main character realizes that something sinister is caught inside his grandfather's shed now, whatever it is inside is, in fact, very dangerous, and this is where this main character's best friend comes up with the idea that they're going to use whatever's in the shed against these bullies. And so he's becoming obsessed with this, and he's starting to become a little bit scary, and the main character really has to uh, weigh things up, whether or not to actually use this dangerous tool as a fighting weapon against these bullies, or, in fact, do the right thing and try and prevent the oncoming bloodshed. So whether or not he actually, what, in what he chooses is something you're going to have to find find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on The Shed. This is a film that I had no expectations for. It's a movie that has a very low score on IMDb. It's a movie that has been hated by a lot of people. So initially I wouldn't check this movie out. It's because I, I don't want to spend money on a film that just the expectations are not there. But then I saw the trailer and I thought to myself, maybe this is going to be one of the occasions where I like this movie a lot more than most. Is that there was something about the atmosphere within the trailer that won me over. I thought, alright, well this is a vampire film. And I'm a massive fan of vampire movies. But it looked a little bit Different. So I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to give this one a shot and hopefully, fingers crossed, this is a movie that was going to impress me. And so I didn't have expectations, but I had a, a little bit of excitement that maybe this is a film that I would actually uh, deem as a surprise. And surprise, it definitely was. I don't really understand the hate that this movie gets. This is a lot better than a lot of other movies that have come out recently. This is a vampire film. It's a different spin on the vampire genre. I thought the characters were very interesting. Uh, the main character especially, there were isn't too much to these characters and so the continuity is very good but there's enough to suggest that there's a sympathetic quality to the main character because of all the bad luck he's had and this is also a film about transformation not only in vampires but in human beings based on their surroundings and based on their circumstances and so I thought the symbolization of the vampiric transformation was actually very interesting the main character he he says to, uh, to a few of his friends quite regularly that he is not the person he once was with all the tra traumatic experience He's become very angry, and so that's why this symbolization of the vampiric transformation is so you got a vampire film, but you got the transformation of human beings. And I thought that was interesting. That was an added layer, and it, it threw in a little bit of complication in what I thought was going to be a stupid, uh, simplistic story, but it wasn't that. I thought The Shed, uh, the title, it doesn't really uh, promise a lot, but it actually it delivered a lot more than I was expecting. So the cinematography, it's a low-budget movie, but you wouldn't think it's because it's very, very competently made. I thought the acting was very good. There were some dark, humorous moments, and I thought... Just just the different way the vampire was using this film was great. It's also a movie about power, and all of a sudden, you know, a lot of power that has been given to you, and you not being mature enough, and you're not be and being able to control that power, and how that can be very damaging. And so that's not only confined to a horror story; that's confined to a lot of things. You know? And so that is something that everyone can relate to: is that if you're given too much power and you don't know how to wield that power, then ultimately things are going to get out of control. And that's exactly what happens to this main character and his best friend. I thought the friendship between the two was very... The chemistry was very authentic, and so I actually, actually believed that they were friends. And the actual, it was fairly gory too. It doesn't rely on gore as much, but I thought when the gore does hit you, it was actually quite brutal and it was fairly nasty. And I really liked the way this film finished uh, as well. So the movie does have scary moments, but the movie does have a surprisingly thought-provoking quality to it that I think uh, deserves a lot more recognition than it gets. Uh, as I said, I was expecting this film to be really bad, but what I got was a very, very 
serviceable horror film. It, it had scares and it had interesting qualities that make it a film that is a lot better than the usual as far as these types of movies are concerned. If you're a fan of vampire films, I would highly recommend you check this one out. The continuity is very good. Uh, as I said, there are some darkly humorous moments, there's some suspense, and there's also some goriness that you would expect from this kind of horror film. And so I was surprised. It was a lot better than I was expecting. So if you are like me and you're a little bit uh, hesitant to watch this film based on the reviews that it's got, judge the movie for yourself and who knows, you might be like me and come away from this movie surprised. So overall for The Shed, going to give this one three and a half stars. It surprises me to say it because I thought I was going to hate this one, but it just goes to show that you should judge films based on what you feel rather than what others do. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.